Wow, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We used it so many times at school. It was a slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. Alright, let's go to the village first. Let's look for one. Uh, I guess maybe we should finish cleaning first. Oh, problem. Wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course! Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you'll end up with a proper potion. Crafting potions. In order to craft potions, you'll need to follow the required ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. Carefully review the recipes and the encyclopedia. I actually like teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. Oh, okay. But I can't pick any more up. My inventory's full. Let's see. Oh, can't look at this yet. Okay. The spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil. Looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who is here. It reads, A potion with the power of the moon. The ingredients are moon flower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. There's also something underneath. Where? Oh, oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Um, looks like a recipe. It seems like moon something... I have no idea. I have a headache. Take a look if you remember later. Uh, looks like we have an unreadable memo. An old memo written in an unintelligible language. I think I learned the language a while ago, but I can't remember. And it was moved to our storage area. Okay. Yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. Okay, we can view the encyclopedia and recipes uh, by opening the encyclopedia with D and going through the categories with the arrow keys, okay? And there it is, Lunar's Oil. Looks like it's a quest. It says it's easy. The potion glows in soft moonlight. Its lovely silvery light not only gives you the moon's power, but is also useful to set a romantic mood. Uh, we need moonflower water, phoenix feather powder, and there's the recipe on how to make it. A roaster? Ugh, I hate this thing. You have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really, 
Oh yes, there's no handle for winding the spring. Where would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roasters since it's not needed for the basic recipes. There should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's a dirty like this. Still, the cauldron is fine. This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Looks like we finished cleaning. Seems like something dropped on the floor. I didn't see it. Do I need to sweep the floor too? Uh, okay, so we can put some stuff into the storage area. Move, select. Okay. Okay, so eventually I realized that I was using the wrong chest. There are two chests over here. One is like a more important storage, I guess for like key items. And one is just for, I guess, random stuff. And then you can select what you want to put over there and move it. it. It was a little confusing, but I worked it out. I noticed that I'm moving a little bit slower when I walk around, and I'm not sure if that has to do with my stamina level. Um, I thought it might have to do with how much stuff I had in my pockets. Uh, this isn't a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used this item in school countless times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lives here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? It beats me. Yes, I'm all done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly because the machine tools are broken. Since there were ingredients on the ground, let's try making with them for now. There was little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn weed elimination potion should do it, right? It's a weed terminator potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. All right, let's do it. Okay. There's the weed terminator potion. A potion commonly used for gardening. Be sure to think about bad plants when brewing or risk a tasteless veggie disappearance. It's an easy potion. We want the fire to be stage four and we do not stir it. We need squishy chub fur as extract and witch flower extract. We're gonna put two squishy chub fur in an extractor and squeeze the juice, but we already have the extract. Um, so basically we'll just put it right in the cauldron. Okay. A uh, little tutorial about the witch's pot. Okay. The items you pick up while cleaning are ingredients, so you can craft potions for them right away. Okay. Try crafting weed terminator potion using witch flower extract and squishy chub for extract. So we need this and that. And we need this first. Just one, I think, and the witch flower. And then the fire is set to four, so we did it! Weed Terminator Potion. To make best use of this potion, it's best to know what unwanted plant you're targeting. It's most effective on garden weeds. Awesome! The Stubborn Weed Extermination Potion is complete. It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Let's go throw it at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because weed terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it. 
Uh, to use potions, you can use quick slots to quickly use potions. Select the potion of choice, equip it, and use it. Let's try it. Uh, we can now save and load from the cabinet on the first floor of the witch's house. Uh, might as well. What should I do? Uh, we'll save. And now we can take naps. I can't take naps at night, and you can only take a nap once a day. I guess that helps with the stamina. And since I'm walking slow, I'm going to go ahead and try that now. Uh, sure, we'll rest for two hours. And now it's four. I like the way the daylight changed. That's really pretty. Okay. Maybe I should back up a little. Good. I think it's working properly. Let's pass by quickly and find the nucleus in the meantime. Okay. I'm still walking really slow. I'm not sure if this is a bug. Huh? This isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh no. What do I do with the extractor? First, take a look around here. Well, let's scooch over here. Check this out. Hello, Aria. Uh, hello, do you live in the town? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. <laughs> she must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation? You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. There are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. Oh, but we can't use the machining tool now. I must process what's been collected to make a potion. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workspace earlier, didn't you? Those would be enough to make a curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her, what? It's a glass bottle that would be perfect as a glass extractor bottle. Where? I'm, uh, you're literally like, whoa, you weren't kidding. All right, now let's make some curse lifting candy to lift the curse. And to receive that glass bottle as a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift the curse in the book. All right, let's hobble back to the witch's house. The lighting in the evening is really pretty. Take a look at that huge prickly vine. Oh, I guess we can do that first, okay. We'll just walk really slowly over here. Wow, they are really big. Too big for the weed terminator potion, I think. Hmm, we'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the witch's house for a while. Uh, a way to get rid of the giant prickly vines is now our main quest, but we'll get to that. Wisteria. The village is just ahead. Maybe if I push shift, 
to sprint, space to sprint, sprint, can we, well, while I'm here. Looks like it starts to get dark at about six o'clock. That would be good to keep in mind for later. Okay, we will need a squishy chub for extract and a maple herb extract. And we already have both of those things. A candy that can relieve a light curse, such as a curse that makes you forget to brush your teeth, or a curse that makes you fall often. The sweet mint flavor of this candy is delicious. So we'll need to put two of the squishy chub fur and extractor squeezy juice. We don't have to do that. Um, yeah, we can just make it right away. Put this first. Okay. Set this. Set the fire to three. Okay, no stirring. Let's make it. <laughs> Curse lifting candy. Eating the candy lifts sweet curses. It's tasty and occasionally enjoyed as a snack. Oh, now I can run again. Okay. those over there, don't worry. But I'm on a mission. Shall I give her the curse lifting candy? Let's give it to her. Would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much to help nature. I guess it really was a curse. I could tell the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet, I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. <laughs> After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature. It was pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. Still, I'm glad that the curse was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Aria. How long has it been since I've said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. <laughs> Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty... Oh yes, there's a witch's house here. That's good. I have business in the village too, but the vines stopped me. Nature be damned. I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, then can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for the winding the roaster. Wait a minute, I'll look for them. Sure. But Ellie, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy witch tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Uh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. The, the glass extractor bottle, a circular glass bottle. It seems to be in perfect fit for the extractor at the witch's house. How much is this? Oh, never mind. This is return for breaking my curse. Wow, thank god. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. 
good. Uh, please bring it then. Okay, I'll write roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and take this too. I got a recipe for a healing candy. It's a recipe for a candy that quickly heals light wounds. Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. Sure, come back next time. Now we'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? That... I'll decide when that happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. Oh, and we're walking again. <laughs> That's alright. It's a beautiful evening for a stroll. put our new part on. Should I use the glass bottle I have for the extractor? Uh, yes, of course. Good, now I can use the extractor. We can finally make potions properly. Then what do I do now? Didn't you want to go to the village? You should remove the gigantic prickly vine. That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with the recipe I have now. The basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make weed terminator potion, you can get rid of little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that have been blocked off. A little more, yeah, so in the forest. Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's, that's what I'm saying. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for helping me fix the extractor today. Next time, we'll explore the forest, and we'll look for a way to remove that vine so we can go to the village. Until next time, I'll see you then.